So what is up guys, it's Carfight TV here and I'm here with the newest episode review for Carfight Vanguard episode 88. So this is the second part of the tag battle that Misaki and Aichi had with Team Lau or the Lau Brothers or however you want to say the name. So the episode, I like tag battles anime wise like when I watch it because it's so intense it's so fast like there's no flashbacks because there's no time to do flashbacks but it's just so quick and it's so intense and you just like there's always something going on that's why I like to actually watch them and I like I love watching the tag fight episodes as for playing them um tag fights take a ridiculous long time that's one thing they can they're like 40 minutes to an hour, like, the tag fights are so long. I recorded one, but due to ender error rendering or some something like that, yeah, I wasn't able to upload it, but they are, they are ridiculously long. So, and they do take a lot of time when you have to think of tag guards and whatnot. But, yeah, episode-wise, it was just, just intense. And I just like seeing that there's no time just to, to actually, like, sit there and think. Like, always something going on. So, this episode, we did get to see Aichi ride into White Hair in the Moon Shadow, Peli Noire, and Peli Noire was just was the coolest card, like, it just, just looks cool, and the name is pretty tight too, just cause it has Shadow in the name, like, Moon and Shadow just go together, so, yeah, we did get to see that, and, uh, the match was very close, uh, Misaki won with a critical trigger, so, you know, that's epic finish, I guess you could say, um, Tag guards, it's it all depends on how you kind of govern your hand. Uh, the way it was, Misaki had a huge hand because she's playing Oracle Think Tank. So if you kind of if you really want to win a tag match, then you know go with an Oracle Think Tank partner. That's all I'm gonna say because they have like crazy hand size and their protection is just so good. So because me and Shanks, we did have we were in a tag tournament together. We did make it all the way to the finals. Didn't win, but, you know, finals, that's pretty cool, too. Uh, I guess you could say I was attacking and he was defending because his hand size would just be huge. And he would be able to just defend me the whole match. And I would just, you know, do my part in getting criticals sometimes. Like, sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes I just suck dick. But other times, you know, most of the times, I, I did good. But, yeah, back to the episode because I'm just off track. It's crazy because tag fights are so much to talk about. But yeah, uh, my thoughts on the episode, it was just so, so intense. Um, again, I would definitely rather went with Kamui Aichi team because the limit break, then flip your damage back with Nova Grapplers are just so much better, so much faster, and uh, just the plusing and the superior calls would just be ridiculous. So yeah, it is, that, that would be pretty cool too. But they did win, and they will be going to the next round. Uh, not sure who their opponent will be. Uh, I don't, you know, I have no idea, just another tag team. Uh, I do have an idea on the deck they're going to be running, though. Uh, I would say there's an 80, I would, I would boost that to 90. 90% chance that we're going to see Neo Nectar players. That is the next team, is going to be a Neo Nectar team. I can almost, no, I can't really guarantee, but just because they always want to show off the new, the new set, that's, that's what they always do. So, I can just guarantee that it is going to be Neo Nectar. Because Neo Nectar did come out with a new um, Superior Ride, of course. Or not Superior Ride, but a new Ride Chain. So stupid, because I still have yet to see my Ride Chain. Like, where's my Ride Chain at? Uh, let me see if I can find it for you guys. Just so you guys can get a quick look at uh, the cards in it. If I can find it. Oh, Arboros Dragons. So, yeah. As you can see, they have a ride chain, and it is an actual good ride chain. Unlike the shitty one that Grand Blue has. Still pissed to see it off, but it's it's cool. So, yeah, expect this. This is what I'm expecting. But I could be wrong. I've, I've been wrong before. So, one Neo Nectar is going to be running this, and the other is going to be running the Musketeer sets. So, yeah, that that's what I'm expecting next episode. Uh, other than that, I uh, haven't seen much Team UL for uh now we're just seeing new people because they need to show the decks off so that is really cool um after after next week episode we should get back to um all the old decks because i think that'll be there's no more cards they really need to show not that i 
Not that I know of. I don't see anything new here. Um, maybe... No, yeah, after this episode, after the next episode, uh, I think we'll be seeing Aqua Force again. Because that's what it looks like to me, so... Uh, yeah, that concludes my review for this episode. Um, yeah, it was really nice. Tag fights are intense. I will try to upload at least one tag fight that I can do, because tag fights are very long. So, yeah, I'll try to get one up. So, and I do have school now, and school takes up a crazy load of time, so... Videos during the week is very unlikely, but I do get on during the week, and I do do card fights, and if you actually ask me to record it, then I'll definitely record it for you. So, yeah, this is Card Fight TV, and uh, stay golden.